Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite open source hairball, Gardner, the Linux gamer. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm coming at you today with another video because I just love to make videos for you guys and I have a good one for you today. It's 2019's predictions. Uh, this is very exciting stuff, my friends. Uh, I've come up with 25 new and original uh, predictions. I think I might have been inspired by one guy on Twitter uh, for one of the for one of the things here. But uh, let's just uh, jump into this. Uh, we're gonna take a look at these uh, predictions one at a time. We're gonna go over them. Um, I gotta remember where I put this right here. All right, 2019 predictions. The Linux gamer. Let's go. Up first, GNOME's next release brings us a brand new and totally useful GTK3 app, GNOME Tautology. The app accepts user input and just repeats it back to them, all with a gorgeously rendered UI and copious aesthetic. That's how I read the word aesthetic when it's spelled like that with all the spaces in between. Aesthetic. All right, off to a great start. I can already tell. I can hear the laughter in the comments already. In 2019, four video game streaming platforms will launch. They will all die within two years because streaming video games is a stupid and terrible idea. Eh, fair enough. To remain competitive, Steam will reduce its revenue split with developers. To compensate for the loss in revenue, Valve opens the floodgates and allows everyone else to publish crap on Steam. I think that's a fair, fair statement. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. You think Valve's going to let everyone else publish crap on Steam? Yeah, maybe. Despite their saying otherwise, Epic brings their storefront to Linux along with a very popular first-party title. The Windows gamers complain that Fortnite is somehow harder to play on Linux because the terminal. Yeah, that's a good joke. <laughs> uh, Valve announces their next game and the hardware required to play it. And the game and hardware actually gets released, too, on December 21st, 2025. All right, finally an actual, like, funny joke. I, I, I was getting worried for a second. I know that I wrote these, but my God, so these are just bad. <laughs> In 2019, other Linux game storefronts adopt Proton and contribute code back to the project. I like that idea. That's a really good idea. Amusingly, Mac users still don't get any of that sweet, sweet Proton love. True. Uh, that's no matter what, Proton will never come to the Mac. Australia bans the use of free and open source software. Their reasoning? Open source is too secure to ensure national security. That sounds like something a politician would say, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Kai OS gains a significant foothold in Western markets, one that continues to grow through 2019. I think that's a good prediction. They announced that the base HTML engine is to be migrated from Firefox to Chromium. I mean, that's entirely within the depressing realm of possibility. <laughs> In 2019, Gardner finally finishes DistroQuest. Now, if I don't get that point at the end of the year, uh, I'll be sadly disappointed in myself. He ends up settling with Solus. Well, there's a punchline. There's a, there's a punchline for you. I, I haven't tried Solus yet. I got to try that. That's, that's the next on my list. For the first time, sales of electric and hybrid vehicles eclipse that of traditional gas-powered cars. In other news, human beings are still objectively terrible at driving. That's just a fact. I mean, uh, the prediction should have been the other way around. <laughs> Microsoft announces the deprecation of backwards compatibility and legacy applications in Windows 10. The update removing those features breaks Windows Update, Edge, and the Windows Store, leaving users with an objectively better version of Windows than they had before. <laughs> that's, that's a salty one right there. That's a salty meme. Facebook loses 60% of their market share as yet another full year of scandals, mismanagement, and apathy degrade consumer confidence. MySpace seizes on the opportunity and allows users to bling their profiles with animated GIFs like it's 2002 all over again. Was MySpace a thing in 2002? I think it was like 2004. Well, you know, if you want to live the, if you want to relive the good old days, I'd rather relive 2002 than 2004 because reasons. 
Ah, the free space. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the free space. The video game industry edges closer to the economic precipice. Nobody foresaw the great video game crash of the roaring 2020s, except for like Jim Sterling. Yeah, Jim Sterling. He's funny. Declining sales and stagnant innovation force Apple to announce that Tim Cook is resigning as CEO. After several months of struggling to find a replacement, Microsoft acquires the tech giant for $559 billion and puts Steve Ballmer in charge. Developers, 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 developers. Actually, I, that's, that's not outside the realm of possibility either. I, I, the Steve Ballmer thing. My lord, Steve Ballmer. He would be the best Apple CEO ever. <laughs> Bitcoin dies in 2019. Provocative. It's quite provocative. Uh, what's the uh, what's the follow up to that? It's replaced by a fork of the project that allows for quote takesies backsies. Truly, the most heinous uh, thing that Bitcoin could be replaced by is is a is a Bitcoin derivative that allows for takesies backsies. That's scandalous to say. Honestly, that's. I think that might be my favorite joke in the whole lot. 2019 is a banner year for System 76's Pop! OS. They launched several innovative ideas and progressed the Linux desktop as a whole. I know someone's going to call me a shill in the comments, so might as well make a joke out of it, right? In 2019, yet another Chrome derivative gets the fleeting glimpse of mainstream attention. The twist? It's actually a web browser written entirely in JavaScript, and, and it's distributed as an Electron app. Oh, that might be my favorite, actually. It's between this and the, uh, the Bitcoin uh, joke. <laughs> Why hasn't someone built an elect uh, a web browser based on Electron? I mean, that's, that's really when the cancer like, consumes itself, right? Online privacy headlines dominate the news through 2019. Facebook launches an awful ad campaign about how bad social networks are. You know, like how the tobacco industry makes those cringy anti-smoking ads to make smoking seem cool. Yeah, but there's just not anything. There's like nothing cool about Facebook, though. Like you couldn't, you couldn't make Facebook cool if you wrote a pop song about it. That's actually happened. People have written pop songs about Facebook and then they weren't cool. <laughs> In 2019, YouTube reveals their plan to modernize the platform. Instead of fixing the subscription feed, YouTube shows off a new feature called Shadow Puppet that makes live streaming shadow puppetry easier. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. There, there, we know that there's like a huge demographic uh, untapped market for shadow puppetry, and uh, YouTube is really the place to, to, to capitalize on that, you know? Purism shows off a previously unannounced feature of the Librem 5 phone. Said feature is a hardware kill switch for the power button, allowing users to never turn the phone on and rendering it invulnerable to exploits of any kind. You can't hack a phone if it's not turned on. <laughs> and, the, and the physical, the battery, the switch is like physically disconnected so you can never turn it on. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I'm, I'm enjoying these. Ubuntu announces plans to upgrade their installer. All versions of the Ubuntu installer, including Ubuntu Server, will be based on Electron and require at least two gigabytes of RAM to even boot. I feel like that's in the pipeline, honestly. <laughs> the Linux Gamer, that's me, will gain 25,000 subscribers in 2019, despite the fact that thousands of salty sea captains aboard the SS shitpost unsubscribe en masse when they finally realize that Gardner has put like 100 hours into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's true. That's true. I actually have put quite a, a lot of hours into Smash Bros. Ultimate already. I love that game, by the way. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. <laughs> All right, we got, a, we got three more. How many, how many are we going to power through here? Linus Tech Tips, you know, that, that YouTube channel, launches a dedicated Linux series on their channel. It's surprisingly pretty good. <laughs> I give them a lot of shit. It's punching up, right? Punching up. <laughs> Elon Musk makes history with a SpaceX rocket launch. 
Musk loads a secret biological payload onto a Falcon 9 rocket destined to crash land on Mars, thus beginning terraforming the surface. Something something personal army. <laughs> and finally, the last prediction for 2019, the remaining AAA publishers without PC storefronts all announced they're releasing their own competitors to Steam. Upon joining the race to the bottom, Activision promises a negative 2% revenue split. That sounds like something Activision would do. Um, and then they'd flip it around and, uh, you know, you'd owe them money at the end of it. That's my list. How many of those were funny? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how many of those were funny, actually. Uh, you know, reading them out, uh, in your head versus reading them out loud, they come out quite different. Um, let me know what you think. This is going to be up on uh, on uh, pixeltux.com, which is my website. Um, if you want, you can go there and check it out. You can click on the on the things, and you get like this little thing. It pops up pretty cool anyway that's it for now guys if you enjoy this video uh you know what to do you can hit that uh, like button or share it with your friends uh if you want to support the show you can do so with a monthly contribution over on patreon or you can pick up one of these awesome t-shirts i really like this fabric i really like the print quality of the word subscribe right that doesn't say subscribe does it <laughs> oh i'm so tired all right I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Uh, we're going to have uh, some live streams and we're going to do some things. It's going to be a good weekend. Um, thanks for watching, my friends. I'll see you around. That was a weird outro. <laughs> <laughs>